Hey everybody, it's Nick with Technicology here, and today we're going to take a look at four new cases for the Galaxy Note 7. Have you seen in my previous videos, I've done the Spigen series case reviews, the Caseology, as well as the Rinke cases, and I'll leave links below for those videos as well. But these were four that were requested by you guys of ones you're wanting to see some unboxings of. So let's get into them. Our first one here we've got, this is the Tech 21 Evo frame. I got this one from Best Buy for $40, so a little bit more expensive than the Caseology and Spigen cases, but very nice case. Always has very nice packaging that it comes in. Let's pop this card out here. Now, if you're looking for some more stronger protection, this is this is a very good choice. It you can just feel it. Just it doesn't have much give to it. It's a very strong, sturdy case. It's going to pop the phone into it here. And as you can see, I mean, the black, it's a smoke black, but with the silver, it's a very, very nice contrast together with them. And got all your cutouts here. The buttons on the side are rubberized. Nice button feel, actually very tactile. The S Pen, you can kind of see in there, it's a little bit recessed. You can get to it no problem, but it's, it is a little bit deeper in there. But overall, a really nice case. I'll, link, I'll leave links in the description for all of these of where you can purchase them at. I got this one at Best Buy, like I said. But overall, very great choice. Nice case. Okay, let's get to the next one here. And this one was requested a lot also. This is the Supcase Unicorn Beetle. These, to me, are similar to the Tech 21s as far as the feel and kind of the build quality of them. And they want you to be happy with your purchase. Not happy. And this one, same, very similar to the Tech 21 as far as this is the frosted smoke black on the back. Has a matte black finish around the back. It's more rubberized. Actually has a nice grip to it. They even have little grip patterns in here. It has it on the buttons as well. And let's drop the phone in here. Take a look what this looks like. And looks good. Again, a really nice choice. This one I got for about $14 off of Amazon, so quite a bit cheaper than the Tech 21. And you actually can access your S Pen a little bit easier. It has a little bit bigger cutout there for it. But overall, this is a really nice case. It's uh definitely has you have good lip protection up up here. So you can set your phone down, not be worrying about it. But a very good case. Okay, and our next one we have, now this is one I've actually never had before, so I was kind of curious to check this out. It's called the Mirian. And this one's, it's a standard bumper case. It looks similar to the Spigen, like the Neo Hybrid series. And you can see it has, it's a carbon fiber back, but it's not, it doesn't feel like a real carbon fiber, like the Caseology, the Envoy carbon black fiber. That one's a really nice carbon fiber. This feels more like, kind of like just a cheap, a cheap rubber on the back, but looks wise, it actually looks really nice. Has the black rubberized buttons on the side. So very, very similar to the Neo Hybrid Speaking case. And let's pop this one in here. If you guys would like to see me do some more colorful cases, let me know. <laughs> I always tend to do black and silver is like my main colors, but I can liven it up a little bit for the channel with some different colors. But it fits really good. It keeps a slim profile. And as I mentioned in my other ones, I tend to like to keep a slim profile on my phones. They just feel better. They're easier taking them in and out of the pocket, less bulk. But this looks pretty nice actually. This one is like ten dollars off of Amazon. And yeah, it looks like I don't have that in there all the way there. But overall, a pretty good case for ten bucks. It's actually not too bad. It's a pretty nice case. Okay, and then our last one that we have is the classic Otterbox commuter series. And I will admit 
I do not buy OtterBox very often at all. I think I've had like maybe two, <laughs> just because of the bulk of them. Now, as far as protection, this is probably the mother of all cases. This one gives you a lot of protection. It's, it has really good shock absorption. This is the two-piece case. The symmetry, I believe it is, for the OtterBox is just a one-piece case. But this one, this is the two-piece. So when you take it out, let's see. So you're going to put this on in two pieces here. So you got your soft inner shell. Then when you put this one on, you actually have to put these little pieces go right in through the sides there. You get the you get the gist of it there. But again, this is like for protection, you can't beat this. This is probably one of the strongest cases you're gonna have. I mean, it feels like I could just slam this thing down and it's gonna be fine. But it does add a pretty decent amount of weight to it and bulk. So if you're if you're in a your job where you're you're like in construction or something where you can possibly be dropping your phone quite a bit, this is an ideal case to have. Um, for me, this is one I will use maybe if I'm going to the lake, gonna be somewhere around some rougher terrain with rocks or something where it might drop out. This is a case that I would use for those kinds of conditions. But as far as like for everyday use, I don't I don't think I would want the extra weight and bulk of this, but for, like I said, for protection, this is the mother. This is the one that can't really beat this one for protection. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this review. Um, I'll be doing some more videos this week as far as, I was gonna do a top 10 cases that I chose for my personal top 10, as well as I've had a lot of people asking about the clear coat that I put on my phones. I actually have it on this one here, so you can kind of probably tell it's really, I mean, it goes edge to edge. So it's, it covers the phone. I did the front and the back and the back I do in a mat. So you, it's, it really hides fingerprints very well, but I'll do a full video. I actually did some recording of doing the installation of how you do that. I'll put the links again for those as well, where you can get them off Amazon. And when the Amazon links are actually, you're, you're buying them directly from me. So if you have any questions, just, just email me directly. And then I'll also be doing the full review for the phone. The, I was gonna, I was giving it a little bit more time to do the full review just because I ran into a few hiccups with the phone. And I'll tell you about that on the full review, but keep an eye out for those coming up this week. And thank you again for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I apologize. My voice going in and out, been fighting a cold all week. But uh, thanks again. Until next time.